Hey there, fellows. Oh, have we got an interesting experiment in store for you today. Now, this has always been a contentious topic. What exactly am I referring to? Well, here's what we are looking to try. We have seen a bunch of videos where people take small batteries, extract the zinc out of them, get a battery connection going and galvanize the... Well, since our channel is about cars, we'll be doing a car. It doesn't necessarily have to be a car. You can do this with any sort of metal panel that's susceptible to rust and corrosion. Anyway, that's what we'd like to try in this one. We have all of the necessary batteries and cables, so yeah, that we've got covered. And the idea is to strip the hood, take a bit of hydrogen peroxide, which we're gonna pour onto the exposed metal. That's going to make it rust quite rapidly. And once the process is complete, we'll treat one half of the hood. We're gonna try galvanizing it to see whether this method even works, because it very well might not. We might even try spraying on a bit of paint afterwards. We'll definitely leave it alone for a while and see if this gives us any sort of positive effect. Let's do this. We've got a special merch offer for you, fellows, to brighten the mood in these turbulent times. Starting today, we'll be offering a mystery gift box. When purchasing the box, you're guaranteed to receive a certain selection of stuff from our shop, as well as the chance to win something big. You spend a fixed $30 price for the box, and you're guaranteed to receive a Garage 54 mug, a pair of socks, a sticker, an air freshener for your car, as well as a key fob. One out of ten buyers will be sent an expensive gift on top of that, which could be a cap, t-shirt, hoodie, or a document holder. So we'll be putting something expensive into one out of every ten boxes. If you'd like to support our channel and try your luck, there's gonna be a link in the video description. Using a battery for galvanization, real or fake. Originally uploaded in 2020. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Right, fellas, after pouring just the hydrogen peroxide, well, the corrosion process was taking way too long. But after re-watching that old video of ours where we colored an entire car using a similar method, well, then we started with a salt solution. It would leave a salty residue after the water dried out, and that's when we'd add the hydrogen peroxide. We tried the same thing here, and look at this. The corrosion happens almost immediately. Now we just need to treat the rest of the hood and leave it for a serious layer of rust to form on the metal. Yeah, let's make this rusty. Okay, so while the hood is getting there, here's what I suggest we do. Let's go through the ingredients first. This is just a regular battery. And here I've got some soldering acid, which I'm fairly sure is based on orthophosphoric acid. You would have seen us carefully taking this battery apart and leaving just the outer shell, which is made out of zinc. Here we've got a sort of cotton swab covered with gauze that we've secured using a rubber band. Now, the reason we did that is, well, what we want to do is connect this battery to the positive terminal on the car's battery. The body is going to be the ground, and the point of all of this is preventing a short circuit. We do not want the zinc to fuse to the bodywork. Meanwhile, the acid is going to ensure that either this zinc or from in here, honestly, I don't know which way it goes, but it'll be transferred to the metal of the car. Right, so now we get a connection going, find a bit of rust on the body, and try to get rid of it, making the surface galvanized instead. It is sizzling. Look at that. Listen to it hiss, and it's giving off 
A nasty smell. Okay, so look here. We seem to have gotten somewhere even. There is no rust. We got clean metal. And those might be traces of zinc. Now the hood on this is flat, so we'll allow it to rust and go try this out up front. Let's go. Okay guys, we're looking at a nice and rusty hood. Now the surface rust that's easy to remove should be removed, I reckon. Otherwise it's gonna be all wrong. We definitely don't want for there to be... Any rust that you can sweep off with your hand or using a rag. Anyway, I'm gonna remove this and take it inside for further experimentation. Okay, fellas, we've hooked a battery up to the hood. You can see it down there. Now, don't let the red color fool you, that is a negative cable. I couldn't find a black one, but I did see a red one lying around, so I thought, why not? As for the positive wire, we've got that connected to the battery. I've replaced the cotton swab. And we're just about ready to begin the galvanization. Let's try this out. Okay, so when this is hooked straight up, I've decided to connect a light bulb to decrease the current. Otherwise, well, the zinc and the acid are great conductors. And as soon as you make contact, things begin to sizzle. And if you keep it over one spot for too long, well, at first it becomes nice and white like it would be when galvanized, but in just a moment it sort of overheats and becomes darkish. And so I've hooked up a light bulb. I had it on the low beam spiral, which is thick and provides good resistance. And now it's on the high beam, which decreases the resistance while increasing the current. Time to give this a try. Not the result I was looking for. Let's clean this off with a soda solution. I don't even know whether this is a win or a total catastrophe. Once I washed this bit with soda and quickly wiped it dry, well, you see what's happened. I guess now we clean off a patch of the hood to the bare metal, make sure it's completely free of any rust, and try galvanizing that. We don't really seem to have any other options at this point. Okay, fellas, check this out. I didn't do anything to this section, but this I galvanized. Then I washed and wiped it down, and I can definitely feel some kind of coating on the metal. You know what? I suggest we test it. Using our tried method for weathering metal. I'll put down a bit of tape, I mean, I am seriously curious to try this out. And to accelerate the process, we'll apply a salt solution, then add some hydrogen peroxide, which will immediately make the metal rust, and have a look. Because if this is zinc, then there is not going to be any chemical reaction, right? It's already on there protecting the metal. I just want to see how well it's doing that. Okay, let's do this. We don't need to add too much. 
There is some effect. Okay, fellows, so look here. It has been... about 20-25 minutes. Why don't we remove this and see what's going on? Well, and there you have it. As you can see, the patch that we treated, well, apparently there were some untreated spots left, as in the zinc didn't coat the entire area. In some spots there is no rust at all, but in others you can clearly see the corrosion. But on the part that we didn't treat, things are way worse. You know, I don't have a definitive answer. As to, I mean, if this worked 107%, we wouldn't see any rust whatsoever. But it's quite obviously there, unfortunately. Otherwise, this experiment has been a tremendous success. I showed it to you, you saw it all for yourselves. Overall, the results were mixed, I'd say. If you think this didn't go well, let us know in the comments. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. Alright, catch you later. Time to go buy some acid.